Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Long MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Maverick. Now, in this video, we're going to cover the Lariat trim. We call this our complete guide video because we're going to cover all the standard equipment, plus the different package available and standalone options all in this video on the Lariat trim. So I'm going to have a lot of fun. If you like videos like this and want to stay updated on information, Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified next time I have another video uploaded to YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and dive in now. Now, keep in mind, the Maverick is, uh, I didn't mention this in my other videos, but the Maverick order banks have already opened for 23 and closed already. It's sold out within a week uh, because of the demand. But I thought this was a good, uh, good idea and going over this information for those of you out there that have a Maverick on order so you know what can be changed on your order. So everything... Uh, can be changed except for the motor at this current time. So at the time of this video, we still can uh, change the body code as well as we can change information on the uh, the trim uh, as well as colors, options, and everything. So let's go through this so you know what's available, what's, uh, uh, what's possible for you, and let you know uh, if you want to make any changes, uh, how you can go ahead and you, you should be able to make these changes and be able to do that. So let's first talk about some mechanical features here and just dive right in here. So we're going to, I'm going to show you Ford's website because um, even though this is 22 information, a lot of it's the same for 2023. And I like having a visual <laughs> when we're talking about this. I will also go through in this. I don't do this on most of my videos, but keep in mind, I'm doing this based on today's date when I recorded this, which is 930 of 2022, uh, what the prices are. So for the Lariat trim, the price does start at 27955 for this year. So uh, no matter if it's an EcoBoost or a hybrid, it's going to be the same price. So this website is not 100% accurate for that. If you go to the to the EcoBoost, it's actually pretty close, but it, it's not 100% accurate. So this is, again, working off of last year's prices. So let's go in here, start our build here for the Lariat Tram, and talk about this. Now, first talking about the different powertrains. Now, I will tell you this. We'll go to powertrains here. Again, available either the 2.5 liter hybrid engine that has uh, estimated 42 miles per gallon in the city, uh, which people are getting even more than that in the city. It's going to be front wheel drive uh, for that, and it will have the continuous variable uh, transmission there. Uh, so, and if you go with the optional 2.0 EcoBoost engine for the height for that Lariat trim, you are required to go all wheel drive. They do not have a front wheel drive EcoBoost engine. If you want a front wheel drive EcoBoost, you're going to have to stay with the XLT trim. So that is a little bit different for this year uh, and way they've been figuring that. So go all wheel drive. It will cost $2,220 for you to go all wheel drive. So keep that in mind. If you go um, EcoBoost on a Lariat trim, it's automatically going to be $2,220 more because it requires you to have that all wheel drive. Now come with an eight speed automatic transmission for the 2.0 EcoBoost engine. And of course, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, we all will drive. We will get electric parking brake uh, that's going to be included uh, with that. You will have on your hybrids electric electronic brake boost. And don't forget, you'll have, you'll have the regenerative braking. So that way it returns as much energy as it can back to the battery, allowing you for better propulsion and be able to go in all uh, more of uh, more electric than gas and saving as much on gas as you can with that. You will have the e-pass electric power assist steering. Also get variable assist power steering too and you're going to get electronic stability control so that's all part of your mechanical features now let's talk about some of the safety features for a second now there are some uh the airbag system here these are all actually this here is all the same as the other trims i do have timestamps down below if you want to check those out so you can move around move forward uh this is all the same safety features as the xlt trim if you did watch that video so for those that didn't watch it let's go through this you have a driver and front passenger dual stage airbag deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle driver knee airbag that's going to deploy an airbag from that steering column if you have that front collision so that way those uh, that driver doesn't have that steering column coming down and, and hit them so to protect them there also you have the driver and front passenger side impact airbag so that's going to pull the airbag from the side of the seat if you have that side collision in the a and b pillars to help protect those in the front you do have safety canopy side curtain airbags that's going to pull you down from the roof with a rollover sensor so that way if you do uh, roll over it's going to hopefully protect from breaking glass coming in and everything and hurting people that way uh, in that rollover situation. Uh, also, you do have the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So what this means is if there's a car in front of you going slower than you, it uh, usually happens to me when they're turning real slow, 
and uh, you're going along, it, the system looks and says, hey, at the current speed, you're going to hit them. Pay attention. So it's going to alert you with a series of tones, uh, message on the dash, and everything else on the instrument cluster, I should say, uh, that you need to stop. And preloads those brakes in case you don't. And at slow speeds, they'll also uh, alert you to pedestrians as well. You do get post-collision braking. So that means, you know, if you have an accident, maybe you're unconscious and can't put it in park, it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have a more severe accident. You also get the latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children. These are for those car seats. So front-facing, rear-facing car seats. It's going to allow you to, to secure that down into those rear seats. Uh, there are latches on the two outbound seats. <clears throat> Doesn't mean you can't use a, the front and the middle one. You just use the uh, the those harnesses on those other two to be able to use that. And then if you have a front-facing one, you can also tether a strap back behind the seat. Uh, so that way you can keep the top of it back against the seat in case there's an accident. You do have secure lock, passive, and a theft system. That basically means that only the key, the key code or... The, the, the key that comes with it, basically, it's going to be able to start it. So there's a secure code on that. And so that way, when, you know, you get out, you un, you shut that off. It's locking that steering column. So unless somebody with that key gets in the vehicle, it will not be able to start the vehicle. Also, you do get perimeter alarm. So this is going to use uh, in, intrusion and inclination sensors to help protect the vehicle. And if somebody tries to break into the vehicle, it's going to set the alarms off and the horns, the lights go off and everything. So if someone breaks, if you have the vehicle locked up, it secures it. So if someone tries to break the glass and tries to reach in, unlock the door, it's going to go ahead and uh, it's going to set that alarm off. And if they, if there's nobody in there, then it also allow kind of have an intrusion there for you. And then also you do have the uh, inclination. So if they try to take the wheels or something and jack it up on one side or another, it'll set the alarm off as well. So that's all of our safety mechanical features. Let's uh, get some uh, exterior photos here and actually uh, pull up the exterior of the vehicle and go over the exterior styling. Okay, let's start talking about the uh, styling of the exterior here and let's uh, pull this up. And I did pick a color here that's probably the most popular color instead of on the 22 guide. Velocity Blue was available last year. It is not available this year, so I decided let's not, you know, uh, affect those that wanted that color and couldn't get it uh, by putting that up there the whole time. So we're going to use Cactus Gray, which most of the port orders I put in, that was the most popular color for this year. So uh, let's kind of talk about some of the exterior signs. So let's move down here. There we go. So we'll go through and use some of these photos to kind of give it uh, uh, so you can see kind of how it looks. So starting here at the front, you will get a black, a black grill up here. You'll notice the design on the front is different from the XL and XLT design. And then the, the bars that come across is going to be uh, painted silver on this. So black for the XL, gray for the XLT, and silver uh, painted for the Lariat trim. Ford Blue Oval, of course, up here as well. Now, you're going to notice the LED lights are a little different on the Lariat trim because you give uh, automatic LED headlights up here, but now you're going to have the signature lighting up here on the top as well. So instead of just having that silver accent in there for the, like you do on the XLT trim. So you're going to have that. So full LED automatic means it comes on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, when you have it in that auto setting for your headlights. Also molded in black down here. Uh, bump, a lower bumper that protects it, a uh, steel bumper on the front, uh, a little more durable than, you know, maybe a plastic bumper and everything. So you're going to have that as well. And you will also get daytime running lights for these lights. So that means you can have it set on to be on during the daytime, a little bit safer for those to be able to see you. Um, also, you'll get the rain lamp. That's the wiper activated headlights. So when your wipers are on, the headlights will come on. Also, you get auto high beams with this. So just like your uh, headlights there, if it's dark enough outside, high beams will come on. Somebody approaches you or in the city lights, they're going to shut off. Now, that is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle settings. Also, on the Lariat trim, you're going to have the acoustic windshield as well. So that's like two pieces of glass with plastic in between. Uh, it it kind of makes it a little bit quieter in the vehicle, but also it's kind of a safety uh, feature too. So if something comes and hits the glass, it's not just going to shatter the glass. So that's kind of going to keep kind of keep it together a little bit too and protect those occupants in there. I think that should be standard on all vehicles, but that's just me. Moving around to the side over here, you do have the 18-inch bright aluminum wheel uh, on the vehicle. You also get all-season tires, standard equipment, tire pressure monitoring system, and four-wheel disc brakes on the wheels and tires there. You will get the Lariat on the side. It'll be in chrome letters on there. Also, you'll notice body color mirror cap uh, right there on the outside of that mirror. So in this case, it is cactus gray right there. And you're going to see body color door handles as well. You still get the uh, lower rocker molding. It's uh, molded in black, just like you see the front bumper. We'll see that in the back as well as you kind of see it back there. 
uh, that kind of protects it from wear and tear from rocks and such like that. Uh, and then also, uh, just checking my notes here, the mirrors, you get a manual fold mirror, you're getting power glass, and you're getting the blind spot mirror with that. So uh, you will have uh, power mirrors for those mirrors, so you can adjust those easily. Uh, also, you get intelligent access with the Lariat trim. So with that key fob in your pocket, just walk up, put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. You also do have a keypad entry, too. Uh, that's going to be standard on the XL3 and the Lariat trim. So if you don't have the keys on you, you can set your own code to be able to get in and out of the vehicle. And then, of course, keyless entry with that remote as well. <clears throat> if you're close enough to the vehicle, you can use that to unlock the vehicle, too. You do get easy fuel capless filler door, so no cap to worry about. Lean behind, get your hands dirty, just open that door on the outside. If it's a Larry, uh, hybrid, you will have to use a lever inside the door, and you can open up. So it's a double door system, so people can't put like uh, you know regular fuel can or anything to try to get gas from there. You have to use the correct size nozzle that you see at the fuel pumps. And if you are needing run out of gas, you need to use a can. There's a funnel that Ford provides that's a correct size, so that'll open up and allow you to put that fill that up if you get low on fuel. Also, for the size 15 gallon uh, fuel tank, for the hybrid 17 gallon fuel tank for the EcoBoost motor. Now let's move around to the back. There you go. <clears throat> you do have a, a cargo lamp up here. Those two lights on the outside, center high mounted stoplight as well. That's your third brake light up there. Uh, you do get uh, privacy glass in this back glass. You'll notice power sliding rear window on this. So rear window is a standard and then power sliding. The only way to get power sliding rear window is on the Lariat trim uh, for you. And the tailgate does lock with the remote. So you can unlock and lock it. Locks the tailgates when it locks the doors. Um, so um, it does show body color back here, but it's showing black on the back. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be body colored back there as well. Um, then your bumper, as we mentioned, is that molded in black. Rear view camera, so as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see behind you. Keep in mind, you're not going to get alerted if you get too close to anything, but it will. Um, you will be able to see behind you as you're backing up. Now, it does have the spare tires underneath. It is a mini spare, uh, kind of underneath the, the bed itself. Um, there is a space right in between the tailgate and the bumper, and there'll be a hole in there. You can see that's where that little attachment for from your jack will go in there, and that's how you would lower down that uh, that spare tire uh, for the vehicle. You will get trailer sway control, standard equipment, because a lot of these packages will come with a hitch, so it's ready to go with that with that trailer sway control. Um, we do have uh, get an extra cubby back here. So let's talk about the bed for a second. Inside, on the the right side, passenger side. You're going to have a cubby in there that you can open up put things in on the lariat trim you also gain one on the driver's side so you'll have two of those one on each side over there so you can put things down in there jumper cables things like that so you don't have to take away from your cargo or even interior space that way uh, you do get 10 tie downs inside so there's uh, some loops down four of them down on the bottom part down here you also get a couple up there on both sides uh, several different tie downs in there so uh, i think it, uh, it uh, adds up to 10 i believe so um, that's all the exterior features. Now let's move to the interior and talk about some interior features that are exclusive uh, to the Lariat trim. All right, now talking about the exterior uh, or the, for a second, you're going to see a distinct look to this one uh, because it will have some brown on the in inserts in here. On the seats, you'll see that on the door handles, on the dash. So a very distinct look when you go to the Lariat trim. You still get some, uh, um, some of that Navy Pier interior uh, finish to it. You see ActiveX seats here. So that is, uh, a lot of people ask, is that leather? Not quite, but it's not vinyl. So it really is a more of a, a very durable uh, material. I have it on my Expedition. I've had it on uh, several of my vehicles. And, and they, are, they wipe clean so much easier and very comfortable seats to sit in as well. So you're going to get that. Bucket seats here for the front with the console. You do have a, a vinyl armrest, I believe, is what that material is out of that. Nice little opening for the, uh, the your cargo in there, too. So you're going to be able to put things down in there. Uh, we'll call it the media hub there. And, of course, you're shifting and all the buttons there for your traction control and such like that are right there. Now, in the back seat, you do have the... Uh, oh, for the, the driver's seat, you're going to get a 8-way power adjustable seat. Um, so 8-way power for the driver. Passenger is a six-way. You can see there's a lever up in the front allows you to go forward and back. Uh, there's this lever here that allows that seat to go up and down, and this other lever is for the backrest. Uh, now, in the back seat, it seats three back there. You can see it does have an armrest. So you can pull down with two cup holders in there. 
Uh, that backrest has come forward if you need to get access to the jack and such. And the seat cushion itself comes up with underneath, under seat storage under there to be able to store all kinds of things under there if you need to. Uh, behind the console, you're going to get two USB ports, a USB type A and type C that you can use. Uh, that they're going to be positioned behind that console there. Now, moving to the interior, into the, the front up here, you do have power windows, locks, and mirror switches here on the door. You do get one touch up and down for the wind for all the windows, which means you just press and hold it, and it's going to go down. Also coming up, you just kind of press it until you kind of feel it pop a little, and then it uh, goes up. You don't have to hold it, and that works for all four of the windows there. Uh, you do have a vinyl, um, or I should say, as, what do they call it? Uh, they didn't change the name this year. It's a soft vinyl-wrapped steering wheel. They've gone away from leather uh, for a lot of the vehicles on the, the Ford lineup, uh, just going more, um, you know, good for the environment and such. So the, anyway, it's a soft vinyl wrapped steering wheel, manual tilt and, to, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So a lever underneath, it'll go up and down, forward and back. So that way you can get it just right. You'll have steering wheel controls as well as cruise control on the steering wheel. Go to Lariat Trim, you get a six and a half inch productivity screen in the instrument cluster. You can kind of see it through the steering wheel there with attack and or your speedometer, I should say, and a tachometer for EcoBoost or the uh, little battery motor of whether or not you're using gas or how much you're using the battery power to to uh, do the to run the vehicle, which I really like. Looks really cool uh, if you see that. Uh, so that's all the the controls there. Um, also, uh, there are the, the levers. They're pretty easy to kind of figure out. I didn't talk about them on the XL XLT, but turn signal for one, wipers for the other. Pretty easy to understand there. Now, let's talk about the uh, climate control. You have a dual zone climate control, so the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. Uh, and then also you do have your audio controls, AM, FM. Uh, is it a six-speaker? i got to look here. A six-speaker audio sound system here for you, the standard equipment. You do get Android, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto for that 8-inch touchscreen right there. So you can use the USB ports down in here to be able to plug those in and then have the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay with the Media Hub to be able to put the phone right in there or even a slanted one if you want to set it up. So you can see all those uh, USB ports and such. PowerPoint is well down in there. Uh, to your push button start is actually located right down below those climate controls right down there. Uh, also on the uh, above here, let's actually go to this view here. We do have sunglass bin up here with your lights. Those visors do pop down. They are illuminated, so you can be able to, uh, you know, if you need to see something, see how you're looking or whatever, you can do that. <laughs> also, uh, the rotary dial shifter uh, down here. And you're going to see uh, several controls. Not all of them will have all four of these. Depends on how you uh, equip your vehicle. Uh, if you have FX4 and that kind of thing. But traction control buttons, drive mode buttons are down in there as well. Uh, all those are right there. Uh, easy to get to. PowerPoint. So there's a PowerPoint there. Uh, as well as there's a PowerPoint behind the console too. Um, and then you get ambient lighting as well. So ambient lighting lights up the foot, foot wells down here. So that way you can see them real nice and easy. Uh, at nighttime. And don't forget about the Ford Pass Connect. That allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start time, see fuel pressure, gas that you have in the vehicle, uh, locate the vehicle even using the Ford Pass app. So you definitely want to make sure you download that uh, when you uh, order your vehicle. So that's all the, uh, the standard features. Now let's talk about a few different packages that are available for this year. Okay, let's start by, uh, we're not going to go in this order. We're going to actually look at the packages that were available last year that are still available this year and then talk about some new packages for this year. Now, first edition package is not available this year. That was only available in the very first year of the vehicle. Um, so it is not available this year. But Ford Copilot 360 is available this year. Same price as it was last year. So it's $650 uh, right here. Uh, so that, that one there is going to include some great features. So it's a very popular package because this one includes your um, bliss with cross traffic alert and also includes your lane keeping system so bliss with cross traffic alert it's a blind spot information system where just like with this here if there's someone in your blind spot it's going to alert you and let you know by putting a little light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time also if someone's going to cross your path behind you it's going to alert you and let you know that too a series of tones that you need to stop backing up 
and it usually will light one one light or another depends on what side they're coming from the lane keeping system allows you to uh, helps keep you in your lane so the driver alert feature part of that there's three different functions of that the driver alert is alerting you if you have that activated uh if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often so kind of just kind of keeps you aware that you're not paying attention or you're taking your hands off the steering wheel your lane keeping aid system and alert system now you can work one of these individually or you can do both if you want so the alert system that's going to let you know when you get to the line you're ready to go over it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane the aid system will help you keep you in your lane so it won't let you go over those lines it's trying to keep you in those lanes if you use them together when you get close to the line it'll bring you back in but still vibrate the steering wheel and let people let you know that you got close to that line and then you'll notice too on the hybrids you'll get full size spare so not sure why they don't include it on the EcoBoost, but for your hybrids, you will also get the full size spare tire that comes with it. So on the EcoBoost, you want to make sure you add that. It's a standalone option. We'll talk about that when we get to standalone options, but it will be available for you that way. Now let's talk about the Lariat Luxury Pack. It's probably the second most uh, popular uh, package for the Lariat Tram. And the Lariat Luxury Package is less expensive this year because it has taken out quite a few features out of that package. And we'll talk about those, but... For this year, the Lariat Luxury Package um, is uh, 2610 As you can see, it's quite a bit cheaper because they have taken some things out of this package. So I'm going to click on it, but we're going to go through these because some of these are now in a different package. Now, one of the things that does require for this Lariat Luxury Package is it does require you to add the Co-Pilot 360 package. You cannot add this package without it, which... Uh, I think this year might be um, maybe incorrect because some things they took out of this package makes it to where you wouldn't really necessarily need the copilot 360 package so i'm not sure why they make you get the copilot 360 but there you go uh it does require you to have that with this package so let's talk about what's included this year all right so where's my notes there we go so for this year you do get the uh four-way headrest so for the front so that means that instead of the headrest just going to go up and down it also will ratchet forward too so you can have it more coming at an angle in and then retract it back also, you do get a 400-watt outlet in the back. So behind the console, you're going to get an outlet back there as well as you get an outlet in the bed area. So that's real nice. In fact, what it does is it takes that driver's side uh, cubby over there and it replaces it with an outlet with an LED light, which is another thing that you get as part of this package is getting an LED bed light back there. Also, it upgrades your audio system from that six-speaker audio sound system to an eight-speaker including a subwoofer bno audio sound system with hd radio so really nice upgrades that quite a bit in fact not only does it upgrade the, uh, the bno audio sound system but you get upgraded to sync 3 system with an enhanced voice recognition system uh, for entertainment as well so you can use the voice commands not just to make phone calls but also to control your entertainment you know asking it to say i want to listen to this channel or that channel also, you do get a uh, the 8-inch touchscreen. It's going to be the same like it is. You will also get the 911 assist that comes along with that as part of the Sync 3. So it'll call 911 directly if you're not able to get to your phone. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you're already getting. And then you also get two smart USB ports as well. Uh, I think those actually were already included uh, before we talked about that in the vehicle. So you're going to get all that as part of the Sync 3. And you're going to get Sirius XM satellite radio as well for that. Now let's talk about some other uh, comfort features you're going to get with this package. You're getting the heated side view mirrors. So those heated mirrors are going to now be heated. Your seats are going to be heated as well. And your steering wheel is going to be heated. So heated uh, seats, steering wheel, and your mirrors are included with this package as well. Also, you're going to get the full-size spare for the hybrid, just like in the Copilot 360 package, which I guess technically if you have, have to have that package... You're not really, that's not really an upgrade as part of this package because it required that package. And uh, for the EcoBoost, you also get electric brake boost as well, uh, just like the hybrid gets a standard equipment. You also get a trailer hitch receiver with four pin wiring, so upgraded hitch receiver. And you also get wiper, uh, the windshield wiper de icers. So, what that's going to do is if it's, you know, cold outside, it's snow, rain, whatever, you wipe that windshield, the windshield defrost that everything off, your wipers get wet. They won't freeze up on you. So that's a nice feature to have. Uh, so you get the wireless charging pad. So down in here where you can put your phone, that's to become a wireless charging pad. So you can just put that wireless charging phone down in there and it's going to charge the phone. Make sure I got everything here. Uh, also, you're going to get for this year, uh, it's upgraded. You're also getting a voice activated navigation system. So the on-screen navigation system, so you don't have to rely on Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Waze. Um, 
So that's going to come with traffic and travel link as well included in this. So this is a, a nice uh, package. Again, it's uh, 2006 10 for this year. Uh, they have changed it. Uh, does require to have the Copilot 360 package, but they have taken uh, about six items off of this package for this year. And one of them, uh, and that's is your adaptive cruise and such, and some of those things. We'll talk about uh, what package you need to get to get those here in a little bit. But they also took off the spray and bed liner, the rear sensors, as well as those bed rails. Those are optional equipment now for this year. And we'll talk about that when we get to the optional equipment. But there you go, Larry Luxury Package, another very popular package for you. Let's talk about a package that's new for this year, and uh, it includes some features that were part of the Copilot, the, the Lariat Luxury Package last year. So this is the Copilot 360 Assist Package, and this package, let me, I uh, forgot to look that up before we got into this. That package is, um, is $750, so $750 for this year. Uh, so that package is going to include some of those uh, features that uh, was, again, included in the luxury package, like the adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. Also includes evasive steering assist and your rear parking centers or sensors, I should say. So, uh, again, does require to have the luxury package and the Copilot 360 package to get this package, but it's going to include all those. So adaptive cruise. Basically, what that's going to do is it's going to make it to where you don't have to press your brakes. So if you're coming up behind somebody, they're going slower than you. It's going to slow you down to go their speed without pressing the brake. You pass them, it's going to resume up again without having to press the brake or the gas pedal. Stop and go will bring you to a complete stop as well. So if you're in that type of traffic, it will bring you to a complete stop. And when you start going, uh, then you just hit the resume and it'll start going and follow them until they get a space and then speed you back up. Lane centering helps keep you in the center of your lane. It's a little bit different than lane keeping. Lane keeping can be activated with or without the cruise, whereas the lane centering goal is not to even let you get to the lines, but keeping the center of your lane. Uh, so that's uh, activated with your cruise control. Evasive steering assist uh, basically means if you're not able to stop in time and you're going to hit that vehicle, but you need to steer away from them, it's going to assist in that steering. Now, that is a feature you can activate as well and or deactivate in your um, your driver assist features as well as the cruise control. If you don't want to, you can actually go traditional cruise uh, if you want to. And the rear parking sensors. This is where when you're backing up, not only will be able to see behind you, but you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything as you're backing up. So um, so rear parking sensors are included in this package as well. Um, so uh, pretty cool little package, only $750, and does require, of course, as I mentioned, have the lecture package and the Copilot 360 package. Now let's talk about a pack, couple packages that are available on the EcoBoost with all-wheel drive. And the first one is the 4K tow package. So towing right now will be on this vehicle, 2,000 pounds of towing capabilities, whether it be hybrid or EcoBoost with, uh, well, not EcoBoost, I guess, with your hybrid front-wheel drive. It's going to be a 4K tow package. Uh, you'll want to go up to that package to get more, more towing capabilities. So let's click on this. It is the same price this year. It's $745 for this package. It uh, does, again, require all-wheel drive, which also requires EcoBoost. So when you go EcoBoost, automatically you have to go all-wheel drive, and then you can add this package. Now, this package is going to give you uh, upgraded tires so a little bit better tread on those tires are still going to be an all-season tire on this uh, but it will give you a different 18 inch um, tire therefore you can see it's a 225 60r18 all-season tire also this package is going to give you the trailer hitch receiver with seven pin wiring so if you have this package with the larry luxury package or uh something like that where you get a hitch you're going to get the seven pin wiring as well so that does upgrade it because you need a seven pin wiring for the trailer brake controller which you get with this so that allows you to be able to control the brake saving the, the brakes on your vehicle when you're towing with it now the biggest upgrades is you're going to get the transmission oil cooler the higher capacity radiator and you're getting the upgraded cooling fan also included within this to help that motor function and handle more weight and keep it cool uh keep it going uh you know just upgrading the cooling fan, the radiator, a big impact on this. Also, the upgraded drive ratio helps you pull up, pull away from stops with some sort of load back there that's more than 2,000 pounds. So upgraded drive ratio helps with that. Again, not available on your hybrid. Uh, does require all-wheel drive, which on the Lariat trim when you go EcoBoost is uh, required as well. So that's something you can add for 745 and be able to tow up to 4,000 pounds. Now let's talk about another package that requires all-wheel drive EcoBoost, and that is the 4K, the, the FX4 off-road package. Uh, this package just allows you to be able to go 
completely off-road here with this. I'm giving you some great upgrades with this package uh, when you uh, equip this with your vehicle. So it is $800 again this year, and again, not available on your hybrid, um, as you can see down there at the bottom. Um, now, this package here does give you a unique wheel, so a 17-inch, a unique aluminum wheel, so it's a uh, full black wheel, uh, painted wheel, so it looks real cool. You get all-terrain tires with this as well, so they figure you want to go off-road, you're going to need an all-terrain tire equipped with this one. Actually, I'm going to add this and show you uh, a little bit different uh, view on this. Um, so that way you can kind of see because there are some extra features you get from this package. So we went FX4 on this. So that's the wheel you're going to see right there. All terrain tires as well. You're going to get the exposed front tow hooks up here for this package. So that way you can pull somebody out if they get stuck or something and help them out. Also, you're going to get skid plates underneath to protect it from, you know, anything that you might be going over. If you're going out in the field, something like that allows you to be able to protect it. FX4 decal on the side over there, also included with this package. You also do get hill descent control, so that way if you're coming down on a hill, it helps uh, helps with that. That gets an extra button. That's one of those four buttons you see uh, by that rotor dial shifter. You do get the off-road screen in the instrument cluster with this uh, package, uh, so that way you can have an off-road screen in there so you can see what's going on. Your drive modes are going to be upgraded, so you're going to get a normal, you're going to get a mud ruts mode with this, slippery mode, a sand and a tow haul mode so you're going to get a few more uh, tow modes or i should say uh, drive modes with this one as well uh, you also get a hitch receiver with the four pin wiring with this package uh, so if again if you haven't added one of the other packages that it comes with like the luxury package um, and you have the if you don't have the fx4 package or don't have the 4k tow package then you'll get one with this package um, and again if you combine this with the tow you'll always get the, the seven pin wiring with that uh, does this one does have the high capacity radiator so and the upgraded cooling fan so again if you don't get the 4k uh, tow package you're going to get those included with this package as well so and something to note as well with this package is that you cannot get this package with the black appearance package which we're going to talk about in just a little bit um, with that and uh, didn't mention this earlier either but on that 4k tow package you cannot get that with the trimmer package and you can't get doesn't mention that in here either but you can't get the fx4 off-road package with the trimmer package either so just so you know that fx4 and the 4k are not available with your trimmer package uh, and then this one is not the fx4 is not available with your black appearance package uh, but the 4k tow package is available with your black appearance package so i think i've covered everything as part of this package um, and uh, so again, it's $800 for this year and can be added to your EcoBoost all-wheel drive vehicle. Now let's talk about a new appearance package for this year that's available, and that's the black appearance package. This package uh, is not available with your FX4 off-road package or the trimmer package, as I just said, but it's a great way to upgrade uh, your truck to give it a nice accent. So I'm going to give you an image so you can see this while I talk about this. But this package will get you upgraded to an 18-inch unique machine-faced ebony alloy wheel. It's a nice upgraded wheel. Uh, on the front, you're going to see the Black Edition Ford logos. Uh, for the front and the back logos will be darkened up there. Uh, also, you're going to see the grill. So now instead of that silver bar grill, you're going to see a black grill up there. Your headlight assemblies as well are going to be darkened. So instead of a silver bezel for those headlights so they pop more, it's going to be black. So give it that sporty look. On the front of it with those uh, those headlights also your um uh, looking also at your other black accents on the vehicle your door handles are going to be black as well your mirror caps are going to be black too to dress those up uh, as well as you're going to get some interior accents that are black including black seats and probably the black trim instead of that brown on it so it's going to give you a black interior as well with this so really dresses up not only exterior but also giving you the black seats on the interior uh, too so again uh, the grill is black the headlight tail light assemblies are black the ford logos are black on the outside your black wheels black mirror caps black door handles black seats and interior trim on the inside so pretty cool package again not available with your fx4 off-road package or your trimmer package but new for this year Let's talk about another package that's new for this year, and that is a Tremor Off-Road Package. So now we've added to the Tremor family, uh, just like with the Super Duty F-150 Ranger, now the Maverick can get a Tremor Off-Road Package. And this package, keep in mind, is, is on its own all-wheel drive system, so it is an advanced four-wheel drive, so it has its own body code, W8G. So because of that, it is not available with your FX4 Off-Road Package or your 4K Tow Package. 
um, and is not available with your black appearance package either uh, for this year. So let's talk about, uh, we actually got a chance to look at this in person at the, the auto show. So uh, check out this clip while I kind of go over some of these features for you because uh, there's quite a few that you get with this. Now, this one does have an, an upgraded off-road tuned suspension. So it's going to unique front and rear springs that increases the ride height for clearance, for ground clearance. Also does get unique front and rear shocks with the Tremor logo on those rear shocks. Uh, you also, with this in here, does get the advanced four-wheel drive system with the twin clutch rear drive unit, like you see in the Bronco Sport Badlands edition. So you can tell with this one, it is going to be as capable as going off-road just like the Bronco Sport will. It will get a four-wheel drive lock and a rear drive unit lock as well. Uh, with this in here, you also do get trail control. It's like cruise control for the trail. So you can uh, set that in anywhere from zero to 19. It controls all the throttle response and everything while you can uh, just take care of the steering for the vehicle. Um, that's really nice. So you see this in your Bronco, Bronco Sport, seeing in, of course, all your tremors and your Raptors. So very exclusive here, having the trail control. You do get uh, the front skid plates for underbody protection. So you can have, it'll protect that engine and, and trans transfer case and everything under there from getting hit with anything. Also does include a different bumper. So you're gonna see an upgraded bumper that actually you know scales it so you can have a better ground or better approach angle, I should say, on the vehicle uh, when you're going into those different places for that. So also you're gonna get upgraded with a heavy duty transmission uh, cooler, off-road screen and the, and the instrument cluster like your FX4 gets. Also you get a the full size spare with this. You get the hitch receiver as well with the four pin connector. Uh, does upgrade also and give you more of those same drive modes you see with the FX4 package. So normal, tow haul, slippery, mud rut, and your sand mode there. And let's talk about the look of this vehicle. Not only are you getting a 17 inch all-terrain tire, but it is going to be a, kind of a beefier tire. So it's a 235-65 R17 that goes along with the 17 inch machine-faced tarnished dark alloy with the orange painted pocket so looks really cool for this year so you're going to get that upgraded wheel and tire combination plus you get the trimmer exterior too so uh, you're going to get it of course i mentioned the, the bumper that's going to be a new improved approach angle you have the upper grill that will be distinct with the orange uh, accent in that uh, bar you get front tow hooks with the orange uh, painted accents you get the fender uh, vent on the side with the tremor orange accent on it. You get the tremor box uh, decal and badges, unique front and, uh, front and rear Ford logos that are going to be darkened like your uh, black appearance package will get. Black chrome headlights and taillights assembly, again, just like your uh, black appearance package. Now you're seeing why you don't get the black appearance package. Also, a tremor unique exterior color. You can get this in avalanche gray. Only way you can get that color is with this package. And then on the interior, Black Onyx interior seats with the Tremor orange stitching and logo accents, Tremor instrument panel and front console accents, and you also get all-weather mats that go along with your carpet and mats. So a lot of things there. Uh, packing the price on this one. Forgot to mention the Black Appearance package. Package and the price on this one, the Tremor package is two thousand nine ninety five. Uh, on top of you have to make sure you go all-wheel drive. So keep that in mind. So to go with the Tremor Lariat, your Twenty-seven nine fifty-five. If you go that route, um, uh, so that's uh, how that's going to work there for that that particular vehicle. So twenty-seven nine fifty-five, which is actually that's the price of the Lariat. And then you add the three thousand dollars for the trimmer. So you're going all-wheel drive that route, and uh, so there you go. So it's twenty-seven nine fifty-five. Uh, actually, that's not showing. I don't think that's the correct price. I think you also have to add for the 2000 to 220 for all-wheel drive as well so uh anyway so a nice package uh that's about three thousand dollars and uh, a pretty cool package there new for this year so let's talk a little bit more about the uh, tremor off-road package you can get the tremor off-road package plus appearance package uh, for the vehicle and it's going to give you everything we already talked about as part of that trimmer package uh, and So you're going to have to go trimmer you're going to have to go with the advanced all-wheel drive system um, And of course will not be available with your black appearance package FX4 off-road package just like with the trimmer package You're not able to get all those so what it's going to do is going to take everything that you get all the aspects as part of that trimmer package uh, That you're going to get but this actually upgrades the graphics and such with the two So you're going to get the side uh, body style uh, graphic on there as well as on the hood so get graphics to add to the vehicle 
you're also going to get the gray roof so gray painted roof uh, on the vehicle and you're going to get the gray door handles and the gray mirror caps as well so carbonized gray for everything there so uh kind of just you know, fills everything out uh so keep in mind this is a this is a pretty cool package if you want to upgrade the appearance of it and this uh th that takes it that's another uh, fifteen hundred dollars or like a 14.95 for if you want to add this to it so Full price for the Tremor with the appearance is $4,490 if you want to go that route. Again, new for this year, pretty cool package to add to your Maverick. All right, now let's talk about the exterior optional equipment. These are your standalone options, starting with your exterior, and one of them I actually already clicked on, and that is this wheel. So you can get this optional wheel at $795 for this wheel, um, and you can get, and this is optional, of course, does not, is not available with your Tremor package, Black Appearance Package, or FX4. They have their own distinct wheel. But if you have the luxury package or one of those, then you can upgrade to this wheel for $7.95 if you want. So uh, I believe the standard wheel is this one here. Nope, that's if you go up to the all-wheel drive. That's your standard wheel, I believe. There you go. So that'll be, I believe, your standard wheel for standard equipment on your hybrid. And I think this in here is, uh, is the wheel that says add 4K and all-wheel drive so if you go to 4k you get um you can basically i think if you go ecoboost then it's this wheel so a couple different wheel designs so um and then also moving on down let's get down to here we do have the uh, splash guards here so we're going to go through these kind of go over different things of what's maybe you should think about put, not putting on your build and then also what's included with this uh and or you know who installs this whether it be the dealer or if it's installed at the factory and the first one here the splash guards here now this is holding up bills i will tell you this um and splash guards just double checking prices is 180 this year and the, the ford would put that on the vehicle before they send it out but this has been holding up a lot of builds very low percentage of vehicles that are coming out of the factories with this on there they can only do so many of these uh in each uh you know production uh week there also, the toolbox swing cases. These are actually installed by the dealer for you. They are 320 this year, so they have gone up uh, in price. Uh, you can actually click on this. You can see a little bit more. You can kind of see it swings out. Pretty cool uh, on how they do that, but it, it, the dealer has to install that in um, when it comes in. Uh, but that is 320 this year for there's a driver's side and a passenger side, two different versions there. Don't know if you can get them both. It doesn't say that it's not compatible with, oh, actually it does say not available with your passenger side. But remember, these are th and these are available through Ford Accessories. You can always install them yourself. I don't see why you couldn't put one on both sides. But anyway, it's up to you. Tonneau covers. This is definitely holding up builds right now. Very low percentage because they have to put these on the vehicles at the factory, and that takes time. So because of that, it's taken a little while. Now, these are all available through Ford Accessories or through your dealerships to have them order for you and install. You would have to pay the install fee, um, but... You know, getting it faster could be worth the $50, $100 that might cost you, right? So there is a soft folding uh, tonneau cover, and that one is, if I can find my notes here, is $590 this year. You have the hard, the hard trifold bed cover, and that is now $1,180, went up just about $20. Bucks. And then you have the hard roll-up bed cover, which is now $2,000 or $1,200, not $2,000, $1,200. Uh, and uh, so that's went up about $40 for this year and you can have those installed. We did a video on how easy these are to install. 30 minutes, you can install it yourself with maybe uh, maybe somebody helping you. Uh, but there you go. Actually, uh, I recorded this video and did not help them one bit on any of it. They install it by themselves, one one man crew uh, in our aftermarket uh, to install these in our service department. Uh, but that might be a way to go if you just want, if you don't want to have the install fee, you want the same cost, go ahead and get it through Ford Accessories and put it on yourself and you can get your build a lot quicker. Bed extender is also holding up your builds. It's like, again, a small percentage. All these have to be put on. They actually, after they build the vehicle, they take all the, anything with the bed accessories, they take over uh, to uh, what they call body company and they install all these. So it takes another trip, has to go over there, get in line to get these things put on. And they're human beings that put these on. You know, they can't, it's it's not done the other, uh, like it is in the factory where they those things just get put in place real easily for them. People go in there and they have to install these. So the bed extender, uh, is also holding things up bed extender is 370 this year uh 
and same as it was last year. Now, the bed tray liner uh, actually doesn't have an image. When you click on it, it just gives you this. Uh, so I haven't really seen what these look like, but I assume it doesn't go up further on the sides, and it's just kind of sits in the bottom and kind of curls up like your uh, tray liners do in your vehicles. So this in here, bed tray liner, is 180 and is holding up builds. I keep that in mind, and they are done at the factory. Spray and bed liner, you get the factory installed spray and liner, 495 this year as well. Again, this one isn't holding them up as much as the drop-in liner. Uh, so the drop-in liner, as you can see, is 375. Uh, of course, the, di the difference is the material on those. Spray and liner, they just they spray it, put a coating over it to protect it, whereas the drop-in liner is a liner itself, uh, molded in material uh, for that. Bed mat is also holding up builds. This is something you can get through Ford Accessories real easy. You can get it before the vehicle comes in, have it in the garage waiting for you uh, for when the truck comes in. And you can see what that looks like. Um, I believe that is 140 this year as well. Um, yes, 140, and that can come out in and out uh, when you need it to. The protective uh, fender uh, hood and fender film, this here is also holding up your builds. Uh, so this is a, fi a film they put on at the factory. If you want to put that on the vehicle, it is 360 for this year. Okay, window air deflectors. These go on the windows. Uh, actually, just shows you what they look like. And those are installed at the dealership instead of, um, you know, at the factory. So the dealer would install this. They ship it ahead of time, and the dealership installs it. So it's 150 uh, for this year. All right, moving on down, we do have the bed cargo net. Um, and so you can see it uses the tie downs there uh, to put things over so things can't come out. Um, and that is, uh, looks like uh, the bed net. Let's see, that one here is, um, if I can find it here. I'm not seeing it. Okay, why do I not see it? $75, and the dealer would install that for you, of course. You do have the trailer hitch with four pin connector, it is $100, so you can install that. It, you know, it comes with several of the different packages FX4 package, the uh, luxury package, and such. But if you want it as a, an option, standalone option, you can have it installed at the factory, $100. I would encourage that. That does not, it's not holding up builds right now if you want to get that hitch put on uh, at the factory. And it is $100 again this year. You do have this theft prevention hinge lock. And that just allows for the tailgate not to be taken. So the tailgate doesn't lock with your remote. But if you have that tailgate down, people can, that tailgate can be removed. So they can take it. But if you put the hinge lock on there, it can't. This is a dealer installed option. Also get it through Ford Accessories. But I haven't seen it been holding up builds uh, with that. If you want to get that, uh, that is an option. Uh, I believe it is... Um, yeah, it is forty dollars this year as well. And then you says, and then you have the full size spare tire. That is uh, one fifteen this year as well. So uh, again, hybrids get that as part of luxury package, but the EcoBoost don't. So if you want to add it, then you have to add the full size spare tire to uh, uh, to your order. And it's one fifteen. That does not holding up builds right now. You have the wheel lock kit. This is also a dealer installed option. Basically, they take one of the lug nuts off of each of the different wheels, put the locking one on for you. Again, I don't think this is holding up builds if you want to get it on there, but you can also do it yourself. Um, if you, it's $75 this year. If you get through Ford, uh, if you want to, you can get through Ford accessories or uh, on your bill. Engine block heater is something you'd probably want to get done at the factory. Uh, that is $90 this year as well. Um, not really holding up builds if you want to add that to it. So if you're in a cold weather state, you want to be able to start that vehicle easily in the mornings, get the engine block heater. You do have these aero skin hood deflectors, a couple different coatings. You have a smoke look to it, or you have a textured. The textured is more of a molded in material uh, for you. So it probably wouldn't, you know, nick as much, but I, I, the smoke looks really good in person. They're both 140 uh, this year, and those are dealer installed options. So they would go to the dealership ahead of time and the dealership would install them for you. Um, and then these crossbars, these aren't the same crossbars that um, they're listing for this year, so maybe they've changed it this year. Two different options for this. We do have one called the Cargo Management System Mounted Bed Crossbars. It's 335 for this year, uh, and it does say it's not available with the bed cover, so I'm not sure how that's installed, if it's like installed under the bed covers or what. Um, but it doesn't say that it's not available with the bed covers. Whereas if you get the Yakima, there's a Yakima bed rail mounted crossbars that's 680, and that one is not available um, with any of your bed covers. So keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at that uh, for you. So pretty cool on how that works. 
All right, so let's go ahead and talk about interior options now as we keep moving down. We do have this commercial roadside assistance kit. Uh, this hasn't really been holding up builds, but it is available through Ford Accessories. And basically, uh, the, the kit will come and be given to the dealership. The dealership will install it. Basically, they take everything out of the box and put it in that bag and put it in your vehicle. You could do that yourself. Uh, probably, but if you want to, you can go ahead and order it. I don't think it'll hold up your build too much, but the more of these you put in your orders, the more likely it will be holding up your order. Um, so, but again, you can get that through Ford Accessories. Uh, 230 for this year. Roadside assistance kit, similar to it. You can, again, you get all these things in a box. The dealer puts it in the bag. That's called dealer installed. <laughs> and that's uh, $80 for this year, I believe. Let me look. Double check on that one. That is $70 still this year, if you want to go with that one. And then you have the first aid kit. First aid kit also, you put all these things in there, put it in the bag, and then the dealer puts it into the vehicle. Call it dealer installed option that way. Um, that's $50 for that. Again, all those can be get you can get those two Ford accessories pretty easily. And then you have the ash cup and coin holder. It's $40 this year as well. Um, and oh, no, $45 this year, sorry. Um, and then you can get that through Ford Accessories as well if you want to. Again, don't think it's holding up builds. Didn't see that many people order it last year, but you can add that this year as well. Um, and to go along with that, there's a smokers package down here, which, which is $80 this year. And it comes with not only the, the holder for the, the ash and stuff, but also you get the um, little um, the lighter that goes in your PowerPoint as well for $80. And again, you should be able to get that through Ford Accessories as well. Now, going back to the floor liners. We do have the all-weather floor liners. You can get it with or without the mats. And same price as this last year. So $175 with the mats, $135 without the mats. So you're going to get front floor liners for the front wheels on the front, as well as a mat that goes across the back. And if you get it with the floor mats, it comes with carpeted mats in the front. I forgot to mention that. Carpeted mats are standard equipment. You get front floor mats, standard equipment, not back ones. But if you get the floor liners, you will get the back mat as well. You have the the moonroof here it is 995 this year so they did show the price increase uh for you this year uh power moonroof is uh of course uh 995 that's something you might want to get from the factory it doesn't seem to be holding up builds too much might be just a little bit um you know on this more recent one uh but the power moonroof is pretty popular as well you can get that too the 400 watt outlet this is giving you just the outlet in the cab not in the bed the only way you can get the outlet in the bed is with the luxury package you go with this option you're getting the outlet behind the console so it does replace that powerpoint with this outlet you still get two usb ports back there and it is let me look at the price on that one that is 150 for this year as well so you can get that one added to your vehicle uh, too if you want to so uh just just so you know that and then lastly is the console vault so console vault is 390 this year and uh, that one you can see right there does give you that it's a dealer installed option so again ship to the dealer dealer will put it in there for you um so it's 390 with the dealer installing it so there's no install fee added um now if you get this from aftermarket uh you know for the ford accessories it's probably the 390 and then you would have to install it yourself or have somebody do it for you so that's an option for that now a couple things that aren't listed in here that are new for this year uh, for the bed you do have a bed divider kit so bed divider kit uh, not available with your soft tonneau cover but it is 350 um, and uh, so basically in the bed let's go up here to the exterior here for a second um, if you look at this right there you do have some slots to be able to, to put some dividers in there. You can use two by fours, make your own if you want to. If you want to go with Ford's kit, it's 350 and they have a bed divider kit that you can use it to help divide out your, your uh, bed there. Also, there is a, for this year, the bed tie down locking rails. So if I, I'm actually gonna show you what this looks like. Cause if I go to the luxury package, this was included in last year's luxury package. And this year is not included in the luxury package, just like your spray and bed liner. Um, but for this year, you'll notice here's what it looks like. So it's that those bed rails with the sliding rails. It's 225, um, but now that is op standalone option. Does want does not require to have the luxury package. So you can get it even if you just get a, uh, a standard uh, Lariat trim. Uh, but you can add the bed rails as, at 225 if you want to do that. Also found out you can get this through Ford Accessories and put it on yourself. It should be pretty easy to install. It's already pre-drilled with the holes, so it'll come with the screws, and you can just drill it in yourself really nice and easy uh, to be able to do also uh, the touch link bed light by looms is 320 that is a dealer installed option if you order it it's not showing it here this year 
uh, but it is a little bed light that goes back there. So uh, it goes in the passenger side actually, and it, it wires in. So if you yeah, dealer installs it, they don't charge anything because they, they're not allowed to. But if you get this afterwards, it's probably about 320 and then you have to pay for an install fee or try to install it yourself. And the last thing I wanna talk about that is new for this year is as I mentioned, the spray and bed liner is now not included in the luxury package anymore. It's a standalone option. So you can add it uh, to the vehicle. The other thing that's part of that luxury package is not included this year is the remote start. So remote start is not included in that. Uh, we, we noticed it was included in one of the other packages we talked about, but if you want this, you, you know, it does require to have that luxury package to add it. 170, you can add the remote start and that's gonna add the remote start to the remote itself so one remote for you to be able to unlock lock remote start the vehicle from that remote you can still use your ford as app to remote start the vehicle uh, without getting this option and and i always tell like to tell people there's a reason why they took those three features the the spray liner the bed rails and a remote start out of that package if you want to think about it that way um but you can't add it it uh, doesn't say it's holding up it's not added as a constraint yet this year because i think they're waiting to see how many people ordered it before putting it on the constraint list. So we might see next month it show up on the constraint list, but for right now, it is not. So that's all of our uh, exterior, interior options and some of the new options for this year. Uh, so uh, hopefully uh, you find some some things in there that'll work for you. And uh, hopefully this helped you out and let you know what options maybe you should think about and consider not putting on your build and which ones you need to get because they are factory installed options that if you want it, go ahead and get it from the factory. And most of those are not holding up your builds. So there's all of our uh, complete guide. Uh, I think hopefully I've, I've uh, kind of give you what I promised I would and given you that complete guide of everything. So we talked about all the standard equipment, different packages available, new packages for this year, as well as those standalone options all in this one video. Feel free to use the timestamps down below to move around in this video all you need to. Uh, so hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, smash the like button. I really appreciate it. Uh, also, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit the red subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified next month another video uploaded to YouTube channel. And hopefully this video helps you out. If you have a 23 ordered, uh, then you know what options you can change. And maybe now that you've uh, put that order in, a lot of people put them in so early. They were going off of last year's information. Now with this video, hopefully you know what is possible, what you can do, and what you can add. And this uh, takes you and this you can take this information and go to your dealership and have them make any changes to your order changes can be made again the only thing that can't be made is the change to the motor so you can't go from lariat or from hybrid to ecoboost or ecoboost to hybrid right now they're both locked out uh, but at this current time you can make changes to the body code if you want to go if you're front wheel drive and decide you want to go all-wheel drive ecoboost you can do that um and um if you have an, uh, an, I guess if you have EcoBoost, we'll drive. You have to go that way. But um, if you, um, but otherwise, I guess really the the body code you can't change because on the the Lariat trim does require to go all wheel drive. So you would have already selected that. But when it comes to the trim, if you don't, if you decide, oh maybe the XLT will work, you can go to XLT trim. Uh, you can change back and forth from the trims right now. That might get uh, locked out at one point when they decide how many they can make. Uh, so just keep that in mind if, uh, you know, things change and you go, Tim, uh, that you said that I can make changes and I can't. Well, as of the start of this video, you can make changes to the trim as well as the uh, body code, but not to the engine. So just want to make sure you guys knew that. So again, uh, don't forget, check out our live stream every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. We do a live stream where we can answer your questions live. We also talk about production information, what's scheduling this week, also any uh, dealer updated news. So if there's any constraints, anything like that, we'll talk about it uh, each week on those live streams. And then, of course, I can answer your questions live uh, as well for those. So check those out. And don't forget to find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you want to follow me, there's my Linktree account. You can follow me in all the different places on social media right there with that link. Uh, and that way you can stay connected with what I'm doing. And I post a lot of things that we we're doing for Law MacArthur. I repost on all of my social media sites, plus some other things that maybe be relevant to what you're looking for. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. And until the next video, we'll see you later.